So, Mary wants sour help again. Um, I am actually going to go and change into uh, different clothes this time. And probably do a shave. Look, I'm going to be real. Imagine if Arthur's life was different. Ah, uh, I don't know. See, this is kind of wild, but... This is kind of why I'm thinking, you know, maybe if they do a Red Dead Redemption 3, they should have it where the player goes through the game. And instead, instead of them... But then again, this is... Rockstar might not be able to go through that room where the player has their own choice and stuff like that now hear me out this is why i think uh rockstar wouldn't really be any good in in an up you know like if they were to do like a setting where the player has all the choice while they have done it in uh red dead red dead online and partially through uh Grand Theft Auto. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Hosea. But I kind of want to go to Mary Linton now. We'll do that first. Um, the reason why I say... I don't think that will be... That would suit Rockstar. Because... They usually have, they usually do really good uh, linear stories, and they're very, very good at them. While GTA V is the weakest story of most of their Grand Theft Auto series, one of the weakest, sorry, it's not the weakest. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, while they have really good and well-written linear stories, I don't know if they would be able to do, like, a full-on, like, I would like, not quite like Skyrim, but I can't, more like of an open story, I don't think they'll be able to do that. Again, their strong points are linear stories and minimal choices. So them trying to do like a open like story, I don't think they'll be any good at it. And you know, again, like Technically, again, yeah, they do have choices in this game, but they're very, very minimal. And that's fine. I think, to be honest, it fits the game. Um, while I do wish that they do have, they do have like a custom character kind of thing in, if they're going to do like a Red Dead Redemption 3, I just don't think they will. Because, I mean, again, you also have to look at it as well. In, the only time that they ever do custom characters is online because it makes sense. Oh, he's back at it again. Shut up. You go in my way, dude. Yeah, I came. 
So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. <laughs> They're probably thinking, how oh, did you get a bird like that? Came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Th then then me th then the choices you what make what choice did i have did i ever have oh i know you had to live by your code but your code is well, it's not right has your way been right mary with you and jamie joining a bunch of crazies and hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling huh? is that what a pure life has gotten you begging me for help oh arthur be kind to me, please. I'm sorry. I am. I should have asked someone else, but. But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, then. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, well, I don't know. This is sad. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Well, don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. But yeah, I still, I still want to see if Rockstar can make a character or. You know, or let the player choose or like have a custom character and I want to kind of see if they can do a story I want to see if they can make it a bit more open uh, but I mean again I know uh, someone was telling me the other day oh but have you seen GTA 6's uh, budget I know it's two billion dollars but it's like I'm not gonna lie I never look at the I never look at the budget to to determine how good a game is because let me let me just pause it because I, I just want to say this 
Never determine how good a game is based on budget. Want to know why? You can you can end up paying more than what it's actually worth. And I mean, again, I've known people that spent thousands of pounds, thousands of dollars, and put it into a game. And some of them fail. And it's not because of the money. That's why I say it's the same as a movie. You can put in as much money as you want into it. It doesn't mean it's going to either come to fruition. And sometimes it doesn't mean it's going to come up good. Nine times out of ten, it is somewhere in between. So never, ever look at a budget and see... I understand it's Rockstar and it's... I would like to say it's rare that Rockstar mess up. But again, they are human as well. We have to also think about that. And at the same time, they have messed up. And even though, yes, okay, they put their stuff on, you know, they, they leave their development sometimes to other companies. Small ones. I can't remember which ones dealt with the Trilogy Edition. I'm not too sure which ones even dealt with the Red Dead Redemption 1 and stuck it on PS4 and the Switch. I don't know who dealt with all of that. Um, but they have messed up. So that's why I'm just waiting to see what, what happens with GTA 6 right now. Oh. Can't stand there. What in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. The fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady. You'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady at your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Nothing's been said to me that I thought. Apology accepted. Oh, well, wait daughter, right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired? I and have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. So this is a dude. He went around the corner. I can see. I've got two googly eyes right here. Hold on. You can see why I had such a high opinion of yourself. You just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. I can see. Again, I've got two googly eyes. Come here, quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing, insult him. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't 
you were a little old for brawling, mister. Damn you! What chapter is this? The road. Nope. This is kind of fun. Uh, I think it's chapter three or four. Pretty sure this is four. But uh, yeah, if this is the loss. Hang on, let me have a look. Story. Wait, uh, prog. How many chapters are there in this game? Isn't it four? Hold up, it One sec. I'm gonna quickly, uh, search this up. There's six chapters. We're only two chapters away from um, the last. So I think, to be honest, what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to probably try and play through the whole chapter. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Here's the money. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. Is that a piece to sell? It's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You? That's theft. Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. I'll go and kill you in a minute. Get on it, bro. Come by the side of me, bro. What the? Where's this horse, man? Come on. My horse is fast on this one. doing 
That, that's a question I was thinking to myself. is to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. <laughs> You can keep the hundred dollars. You can keep the hundred dollars and get knocked out. Get knocked out. <laughs> I did it for the memes, guys. Take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle, huh? It's the... Normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so... Shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, 
When I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a or not? Are you of a the rush, greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. Oh, come on, I'm curious. I'm curious now. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I see you, you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. She is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanservino. Stop it. Wonderful. Oh, I can't make a move on it.
God damn it. Enchanting! Mesmerizing! She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! I don't see the appeal of that. I re like I don't understand. Actually, what notes? I know it sounds stupid, me asking. Hold on.
<laughs> Incredible. Actually, lovely. Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous, awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before the God damn. dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I'll take you to the trolley. Ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Life wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I, anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, then I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. If I had some. Some fool got it trapped into a town and I can't go back to it. It's another story. I'll write you.